why nations fail while economic institutions are critical for determining whether a country is poor or prosperous it is political and politics and political institutions that determine what economic institution a country has chinese growth as it has unfolded so far is just another form of growth under extractive political institution unlikely to translate into sustained economic development the poorest countries in the world have something in common failed political institutions without the stability and transparency that good government brings the incentive to create wealth disappear what do people in poor countries desire most why nations fail the origin of power prosperity and poverty begins with quote from some of the young protesters who helped bring down the mubarak regime in egypt with the aim of trying to untangle what they were after for instance software engineer and blogger wail khalil one of the movements leader made a list of 12 things that he wanted to change rather than issues such as higher wages and lower prices all his demands were political egypt's economic malaise was a direct result of an elite monopolization of politics and political institutions if this did not change nothing else would including the economy egyptians are seen as lacking the worth ethics to succeed and the people islamic beliefs are inimical to economic success and bad decisions making by its leader if the country had been better managed and ruled it would be much better off by now why nation fail argue is that their institutions offer different incentives for individual and business these incentives are provided by economic institution but they rest on political laws and rules a free press continue to be vital as a check on extractive tendencies indeed control of the media is perhaps the most important plank in extractive regime whether it is television newspaper or social media only system that ensure a wide distribution of power creates genuinely successful nation in which all have the chance to prosper and participate history is important the reason that nations like britain france and the us are wealthy today is because a long time ago each of them overthrew the group that had monopolized power and wealth of course many revolutions simply turn out to be one group replacing another as the elite egypt was ruled by ottoman then britain then monarchy then a secular autocracy with no real transformation in political rights and consequently no increase in popular wealth yet occasionally lasting political change happen and it bring upon the coffers of national wealth for all